Using Arduino to build some small basic as well as complicated project looks fascinating. Since Arduino is a microcontroller, I always had a question whether it can be used as an interface device with my computer. And the answer is yes. In this video, I will be making a ping pong game using processing software for which our Arduino will act as a game controller where I will be using the MPU6050 sensor as an input to control the game. Let's get started. The MPU6050 is a micro electro mechanical system aka WIMS which consists of a 3-axis accelerometer and 3-axis gyroscope inside it, which helps us to measure acceleration, velocity, orientation, displacement, and many other motion-related parameters of a system or object. MPU-6050 is used in drones or quadcopters as direction controller, self-balancing robots, humanoid robots, etc. MPU6050 uses I2C which is a serial communication protocol so data is transferred bit by bit along a single wire. MPU6050 has VCC pin which provides power for the module can be plus 3 plus 5 volts. Ground pin connected to ground. Serial clock or SCL pin used for providing clock pulse for I2C communication. Serial data or SDA pin used for transferring data through I2C communication. Auxiliary serial data or XDA pin used to interface other I2C modules with MPU6050. Auxiliary serial clock or XCL pin used to interface other I2C modules with the MPU6050. AD0 pin is used to vary the address if more than one MPU6050 is used. Interrupt or INT pin to indicate that data is available for MCU to read. We will start by hooking up MPU6050 with our Arduino. Connect VCC pin of MPU6050 to plus 5V pin of Arduino. Connect ground pin of MPU6050 to ground of Arduino. Connect SCL pin of MPU6050 to A5 pin of Arduino. Connect SDA pin of MPU6050 to A4 pin of Arduino. Connect INT pin of MPU6050 to digital pin 2 of Arduino. Remember, Pin A5 is the SCL pin of Arduino Nano and pin A4 is the SDA pin of Arduino Nano which is required to establish I2C communication. Since MPU6050 is the only I2C device used, I will be not using XDA and XCL pin of MPU6050. Open Arduino IDE. Go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Library. In the search bar, type MPU6050 and install the library which is already installed in my PC. We will start the program by including the wire.h library and i2c dev.h library and also the MPU6050.h library. I will create a variable MPU for the sensor MPU6050 having an i2c address of 0x68 which is default. I will declare the variables AX, AY, AZ and GX, GY, GZ to store the values of the sensor. I will also declare the variables data and send data. I will start by creating wide setup function in which I will begin wire and the serial port at a baud rate of 9600 and initialize the MPU6050 sensor. In the void loop function, I am assigning a value of 0 to send data. I will read all the values of sensor and store in AX, AY, AZ respectively. And map the values of AX from 0 to 255 and store in variable data. I will create a for loop which will loop for 10 times and in every loop I am going to add send data with data. I am dividing the send data by 10 to get the average value. 
if the value stored in send data is greater than 255 then i will store 255 in send data which is our maximum limit and if it is less than zero i will store zero in it using serial.print to print send data after uploading the code it is working fine To send this data through serial port, I will be using serial.write function. Remember, while using the serial.write function, the port should not be busy. Therefore, avoid using the serial.print function when the serial.write function is used. In the processing software, I will start by importing processing.serial, which will be required for serial communication. I have declared some global variables, which I will be using to create the game. I will start with void setup function, which is similar to Arduino programming. Inside the setup function, I have created a canvas of 600 by 600 and selected the port for communication. Void draw function is similar to the void loop function of Arduino programming. I am checking if the data is available in the port. If it is available, I will store it in variable data and map that value from the range 30 to 570 and store it in a variable move by. I will check the state of the flag. If the flag is 0, then I will call start screen function. If the flag is 1, then I will call game function. If the flag is 3, then I will call last screen function. Here I have printed some data that is continuously printed. In the start screen function, initially the score is assigned with 0. Here I have just printed the data that is welcome, select the speed and the range of the speeds for the player. I have mapped the X and Y position of the cursor and if the user is clicking the mouse button then I have just mapped where it was clicked and initialized the speed for the game and assigned flag with a value of 1. Since the flag is 1, the game function will be called, that is the game gets started. Initialized the background color and the position of the ball when game is started and created a rectangle plate of 140 by 13. Updating the position of plate when data is available in the port. Checking if the plate and ball are coming in contact. Finding left deflection of ball when it is in contact and similarly finding the right deflection. Finding the left margin, top margin, right margin of the ball and its speed. Checking whether the ball has crossed the plate. If yes, then initializing flag as 3, which calls the function last screen, that is game over. In the last screen function, I have printed the data such as game over, your score. Click here to try again, press yes to select the speed. Checking if the player has done high score and if yes, printing high score. And if the player clicks the mouse button, then flag is set to 1, that is the game is restarted. And if the player presses yes on the keyboard, then the flag is set to 0, that is function start screen is called. Both the code for the Arduino and the game is provided in the description. You can just download the codes, plug in the Arduino and play the game.